Chris Lawrence begins our live team coverage. He is in one of the hardest hit areas, Jacksboro. Chris, you just got a lot of new information. Give us the update. Yeah, uh, Izzy, the uh, National Weather Service was just here and they gave us an update saying that it was an EF3 tornado that part of Jacksboro with the most serious damage being at the elementary school down the street, followed quickly by where I'm standing right now here at the high school, as well as a subdivision uh, not too far from here. So again, an EF3 tornado hit part of Jacksboro. I also want you to take a look at this because just uh, this afternoon, uh, Jana Wise took us through her mother's home or basically what's left of it. Uh, the family all came over to try to salvage what they could. And as they were going through the living room, uh, she says a big chunk of glass fell from near the ceiling. Jenna says it almost hit her sister right in the head. Just gives you an idea that these structures are still moving a lot and there is still some danger here. Take a big picture now. I want to give you what we know about what happened in Jacksboro. Nine people have been injured uh, here. There have been no deaths, fortunately. 80 homes were destroyed. Earlier, Governor Abbott traveled to Jacksboro today to get a look at the damage firsthand, and he came away marveling at how well everyone here responded. When you look at the magnitude of the tornado that swept through Jack County, and know that there are no fatalities, it is a miracle. However, uh, as has been said, the, the quick thinking, the decisive action uh, by, by leaders, whether it be at the school or elsewhere, save lives.